So two very specific types of triangles are equilateral and isosceles triangles. Um, they come up in geometry all the time. You'll see them on the SATs and pretty much every math class. And they have a few really distinct characteristics that define them. So equilateral triangles, equal means same, lateral means side. Um, so that kind of makes sense. An equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all three sides are exactly the same length. So, you know, if this was five centimeters, this would be five centimeters, five centimeters. They will either give you, you know, side lengths, like I just said, five, five, and five, and you'll know it's equilateral, or they can just designate them by these little tick marks, right? So you'll have this little one matching this little single tick mark, single tick mark. If these match, that means the sides are congruent. The other thing that you can kind of tell from an equilateral triangle, or it just is a rule, is that if all three sides are congruent, that also means that all three angles are congruent, no matter what. And if you think about it, every triangle in the world, right, adds to the same amount. So every triangle, skinny, tall, wide, doesn't matter. They always add to 180 degrees. So these values here have to be 60 degrees each because isn't it true? 60 plus 60 plus 60 equals 180. So for any equilateral triangle, does not matter what it looks like. If it's tiny or if it's giant, if it's equilateral, then all three angles are the same. And more importantly, they're all 60 degrees. And so for an isosceles triangle, it's kind of the same idea, except now only two sides are congruent. So for an isosceles triangle, you'll have these two congruent sides. And if two sides are congruent, it makes sense that two angles are congruent. And these even kind of have a name. These are the base angles and the base angles are congruent. The angle that's not the base angle, that's referred to as the vertex. Uh, and it does not match these. So if this was 50, you could say, well, this is 50 automatic. I don't have to think, right? And then you would know that 50 and 50 is 100. What's left for 180? And then this must be 80, right? So you can do a bunch of math with these equilateral and isosceles triangles. But those are the important kind of facts you need to know going in. Three sides congruent, three angles congruent, specifically the angles equal 60, two sides congruent, two angles congruent. And you don't know these values, but you can definitely solve for them, but there's no rule. Like we had a rule over here, 60, 60, 60. There's no rule for the base angles, but the rule is that they're the same and all three out of 180, so you can definitely do some math problems. So here's kind of like a total, like typical problem that a teacher might give you. Right, and so here's a here's a maybe math question will say, oh, hey, solve for X and Y. And you're probably thinking, well, hey, nobody told me if this is an equilateral or an isosceles triangle. And a lot of times they won't. You just kind of have to figure it out. You know, if we knew that this was um, isosceles or equilateral, we could just start jumping to conclusions. But we don't know for sure. So first thing is to solve for X. This is an angle measure because it's inside the triangle. And these are side lengths. And I didn't put units, but this should be, I could put a little degrees mark here, a little degrees mark here, and say, how many degrees is X? And then the outside would be, you know, some kind of units like inches or centimeters. But who cares for this problem? First thing is to solve for this X because we know that all three angles have to add to 180. So couldn't I just say that 60, this guy, plus 60 plus X equals 180 degrees. That's a fact for every triangle. So that would be add those. That would be 120 plus X equals 180, right? And then minus my 120 minus my 120. And then sure enough, X equals 60 degrees. And that's actually a huge kind of red flag. Wait a minute, you're telling me that all three angles are 60? I know what type of a triangle I have. First of all, I solve for X, so I'm happy there. Half of my problem's done at 60 degrees. But also, I've also identified this as an equilateral triangle. And so now I can no-brainer it. If this side is 10, without even thinking, this is 10 and so is this. They didn't ask me the bottom one, but who cares? It's an equilateral triangle. That's super easy, I know. So, you know, again, the information we used is that angles add to 180. I used that to solve for this, and then I could quickly just decide which of these that was, and I'd be done. Uh, and so that was one problem. Here's another kind of typical problem. Okay, so they might give me this triangle here, and they'll say, find this value x. Again, this is an angle measure because it's inside this angle mark, and this would be, you know, 40 degrees. And looking at this, hey, you know, I'm in this lesson that is equilateral and isosceles triangle, so this probably has to be one of them. They did, in this case, tell us, right? We have these double tick marks that match, so we know that these two sides are congruent. Not this one. They didn't give us a mark here. So we know two sides are congruent. This has to be an isosceles triangle. And then could you just say, hey, if this is 40, this is 40. I know that two sides are the same, two angles are the same. No, because remember, the base angles are congruent. You track back from this, these two sides here. The angles that formed them are down here and here. These are congruent. So really, actually, if you know he's x, you know that he's X. I don't know what X is, who knows, but I do know they're the same. So they're both X. And now couldn't I just add these suckers plus 40 to get to 180? So wouldn't it be 
x plus x plus 40 equals 180 degrees. That's totally possible. Any triangle in the world adds to 180 degrees. And then I would have 2x plus 40 equals 180, right? This gets pretty easy. Minus 40, minus 40, 2x equals 140, divide by 2, divide by 2, and then x definitely equals 70 degrees. So that would be it. And they didn't ask us for both, right? They didn't, but we could easily put them in. If this is 70 degrees, because these are isosceles, well then this is 70 degrees. And so that's how you do these. And you could imagine like a million different versions or combinations of questions in isosceles and equilateral triangles. But knowing the basic facts and the definitions of each, you can easily solve them and figure them out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, video. Good luck.